doing a project for uh, a mobile device where you have sort of the dance in the palm of your hand and you can take it anywhere and share it with anyone, anytime, uh, how that has influenced uh, Richard's work. And, and I'd like to uh, hear also from the dancers um, any comments they have about their experience with this project. We're playing with Fellini characters, you know? And so it was more like a film, trying to think of how to do it, of moments of the 50s. And the research was wonderful, and then, then you wanted me to be 150 to 80 pounds. And so it was really lovely and juicy to jump on something like that. What I love about it is the sparse long phrases and the breath and there's a hundred <coughs> ways you can do that. And it reminded me of uh, the jazz singers when I heard uh, Joe Williams and Sarah Vaughan in their later life when they would sing a song. It was when they were young it all was on beat. And then as they got older the beat kept on but they just failed. <laughs> <laughs> they held that. And they ended there or wherever. And it became a kind of more uh, conversational. For me, it's a mystery. I can still do it every day and still see something different. Then he said, You're jumping the whole time. And I said, How for how long? My son today, my nine year old, said, It's just two minutes long. Okay. <laughs> for younger dancers, I think, and I think also the music choices were wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.